My name is Ronald Araglado. Ronald, R-O-N-A-L-D, Araglado, A-R-E-G-L-A-D-O. I live in Two Partridge Run, Charlestown. Um, I think everyone here is vastly in favor of this project, as much as they are vastly in favor of a root canal without anesthesia. <laughs> we enjoy fresh, clean water here in Charlestown. It's a finite resource, and we know and cherish that. Just ask the poor folks in Flint, Michigan, and the Native American tribes in the Southwest who struggle mightily for fresh water. I'd like to begin with a conclusion. The inner the, the Invenergy project is all wet. We have heard from people far more knowledgeable about this topic than I, but clearly we in Charlestown have had enough of this lack of transparency and very, very uh, counterproductive environmental issues forced down our throats, which we have been able to avoid assiduously thanks to the good work of town officials here. Things like the nuclear power plant, things like the two 500-foot industrial turbines that were going to be uh, raised up in a residential area here in town, Things like the railway transit that came down through the heart of Charlestown displacing families. And now we're facing a highly questionable and difficult drawdown on our water system, which would prove to be another ecological catastrophe if it were to happen. I'm reminded of something that the poet uh, Samuel Taylor Coleridge wrote 220 years ago, the rhyme of the ancient mariner, and I quote, Water, water everywhere, and all the boards did shrink. Water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. I think we can fast forward this to not too far into the future if this project is successful, and we'll read as follows. Water, water everywhere, and all the wells did shrink. Water, water everywhere, and no one in Charlestown has a drop to drink. <coughs> I'd like to just close by telling you in very short order, shut off the damn energy water spigot. Thank you. Yeah.